submitted by witness no on Saturday, the 4th of October, 2003. Possible vocalizations, etc. Heard near Canton year, 2003. Season, fall, month, October, date, 10 stroke 2, state, Georgia, county, Cherokee County, location details, southern Cherokee County approximately 30 miles northwest of Atlanta, nearest town, Canton, GA, nearest road, Univata Road, observed, date, October 2003, place, Cherokee County, Georgia conditions, clear, Crisp weekday morning I live in Cherokee County, Georgia in a semi-rural area of small horse farms and subdivisions. My usual routine is to walk my two dogs early in the morning off my property on an improved road and back to the house. Upon entering the house at approx 5.45 am we, the dogs and I, were startled by a series of very loud vocalizations coming from the direction of our horse barn, approx 200 featuring a way beyond a creek and tree line. At this time of morning I am familiar with the usual sounds of the area, including dogs, cats, horses, etc. This was like nothing I have ever heard before as it was very wild and loud animalistic yell, but with a human vocal quality that immediately caught my attention. The second yell was almost monkey-like vocalizations and moving off to the western edge of the property. I went down to feed the horses and did not see or hear anything unusual. I have not looked for tracks or evidence as of four days later. Also noticed. No. Other witnesses. Dogs. Other stories. No. Time and conditions. Early morning around 5.45 clear. Cool weather. Environment. Improved horse farm surrounded by other similar properties. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Morris Collins. I spoke to the witness who still lives on the property on the 23rd of October 2006. He related his encounter as described in his posting. He grew up in the Pacific Northwest and took for granted that Sasquatch could exist but never really had an opinion either way. The witness lives in a community where the average acreage is 10 acres and is still heavily wooded. His property where the sound originated has a stream cutting through that section and is within a few miles of Lake Alatoona. He related that he was most surprised and impressed with the wide range of sound that he heard. He stated that the sound started as a low growl moan and moved up through several octaves. It ended in a low, guttural moan. The sound was extremely strong and moved from left to right across the back portion of his property. Secondly, he said he was surprised at the feeling of fear that came over him during the encounter and could not process what was making the sound. He had two dogs with him at the time. The older dog which was deaf did not react but the younger dog began to try to get in the house as quickly as possible and acted very afraid. The other thing that he has since thought about was whatever made the sound as it was moving, had to cross over a fence and gate that about 4 feet high. Whatever it was, was able to cross this without making noise as it moved through heavy brush and got over the fence gate with no noise. There is a large deer population he stated as well as a small apple orchard on his property. The witness has listened to various animal sounds as well as the recordings on the BFRO website and relayed that the sound he heard was similar to those on the website. He has heard no sound since nor anything else out of the ordinary. He has had no reports or discussions with his neighbors of anything unusual in the area. About BFRO investigator Morris Collins. Morris holds a Bachelor of Engineering degree from Auburn University and additional course York toward an MBA in International Business. He is an avid backpacker and scuba diver. Morris attended Georgia 2006, 2008, 2009 and 2011, North Carolina 2006 and SC 2007 expeditions. He is a member of the SEBFRO tracking team and has completed a first course in visual tracking.